Hi. Well, in this film, we're going to move on from where we left it at the end of the last episode in getting used to the bass clef. And now you can see on the board, just as we did for the treble clef, I've got four little tunes that have no rhythm in particular, but are really just focusing on the pitch of the notes. Let's see if we can get really good at naming notes, of seeing the patterns between notes, whether we're going up or down or skipping or stepping or what, what are we doing? And then let's see how quickly we can find those notes at the keyboard and also see if we can find those notes at the keyboard without having to look down for every single note. So we get really efficient at feeling our way around the keyboard. Okay, so let's have a look at number one. Let's think about some letter names for a moment so we get used to this bass clef a bit more. So the first note is in a space. So what are we talking about? Are we talking, we know we're talking animals because we're in the bass clef. So are we on the cows or are we on the dogs? Well, all cows eat grass. Well, that's four words, isn't it? And there are four spaces. So it must be that, mustn't it? So this is cows. So the first note C. Is it middle C? No, it's not because middle C is up here. So it must be the C below middle C. So let's just think about that as well. The next note you'll notice is stepping up. So if this is C and we're stepping up, well, after C comes D, so it must be D, but it's on a line, great big dogs. So that confirms that it's D. We're skipping up now. So we're D here, we're missing out E and we're climbing onto F. So this note must be F. Check it out, great big dogs from, so it is F. Remember the other way of checking it, F clef is the bass clef. This is the note between the two dots, so it must be F. We're stepping down, so if we're going down one from F, it must be E. E's in a space, all cows eat, so that confirms as E. We're skipping up from E, so if we're skipping up from E, we're missing out F, and then we're going to G, but also all cows eat grass, so it's G. A skip down to E, well, we've just been to E, haven't we? So we're coming back to that note again all cows eat. Another skip down to C. Well, we're coming back to the note where we began, all cows, so C. So C, D, F, E, G, E, C. Can we find those notes on the keyboard? So remember the first one we said is C, but it's an octave below middle C. So the next C down, so there's your first note. Then the second note, stepping up to D, skipping up to F, stepping down to E, skipping up to G, skipping back down to E, and skipping back down to C to finish. So you can see how those notes work. Now, how much of that did you do by thinking letter names? How much did you do by reading patterns, thinking skips and steps? You know, be able to do both, it's really handy. And as I've said before with the treble clef, if you want extra practice, you can practice doing these the wrong way around. So you can start with C, uh, skip up to E, skip up to G, skip back down to E, step up to F, skip down to D, and step on to C to finish. So these little snippets of music, they're not wonderful pieces of music, but they're just designed to give you practice in reading the notes, reading the patterns, finding those notes on the piano, preferably without having to look for them. And remember that thing we talked about before as well, try to use your ear and think, well, if the first note is C and the second note's up one to D, well, can I hear the note that's up one from C? C, D, oh, and I've played D and that's what I expected it to be. So kind of using your ears, really important. Okay, let's have a look at number two. We've got some notes here that look a little bit lower than these notes, don't they? So let's see how we get on here. What's the first note? Bottom space. So think, is it cows? Is it dogs? All cows eat grass. That's four, so it must be spaces. Great big dogs from America. Five, must be lines. So this is a space, so it's A for all, isn't it? Then we skip up, so A, miss out B, next note C and it's all cows, so that must be right. Step down to 
B, because if we're going down, we're going backwards to the alphabet. We're going left on the keyboard. So C going down, one is B, but great big, so that's right. Skip up to D, because if this is B, we've missed out C and we've gone for D. Great big dogs, that confirms that. A step up to E, all cows eat, that's good. Stepping back down to D, oh look, we've just been there, so we're going back to the same note. Great big dogs. Skip down to B, because if that's D, we're missing out C, so this is B. Great big, that confirms it. And then a step onto A to finish. A we've had before, it's been over here, isn't it? Let's see if we can play this one then. So we're starting on A. We're skipping up. Now, first of all, make sure you're on the right A because don't be on the A just below middle C because if that's middle C, then A is there, isn't it? So this is the A an octave lower. So it's kind of quite a long way down from middle C, isn't it? So there's your A. We're skipping up to C. We're stepping down to B. We're skipping up to D. We're stepping up to E. We're stepping down to D. We're skipping down to B. And we're stepping down to A. So how did you get on with that? Did you manage to name the letters? Did you manage to see the skips and the steps? Did you manage to play it without looking at your fingers? Because that would be fantastic if you could do that. And I'll tell you what, if you can get really good at playing without having to look at your fingers all the time, your reading in general will improve no end because you can look at the music. Not only can you look at the music and make sure you're playing the right notes and the right rhythms, but it constantly reminds you about all the expression marks. Are we playing smoothly or detached? Are we playing loudly or quietly? So it's really useful all round. And again, you could do that one backwards if you wanted to. So if we go backwards, we start on A, step up to B, skip up to D, step up to E, step down to D, skip down to B, step up to C, skip down to A. Just extra practice, isn't it? So we did one there that was sort of in the middle of the stave. We've done one here that's sort of practicing the bottom of the stave. This one is going to practice the top of the stave. So we know that this first note is middle C. So it's not any old C, it's middle C. So make sure you're thinking middle C and not this C an octave lower. So middle C up there. What's happening in this case? Well, there's middle C. We're stepping down. So what's one before C in the alphabet? B. We're stepping down again, so this must be A. And check it out, it's on a line. Great big dogs from America, A, fantastic. Skipping down, so if we're skipping down from A, we must be going down to F. Great big dogs from. Also remember, F is the note that belongs to the clef, the F clef. Then we're stepping up to G. Or if you think about it in spaces, all cows eat grass, there's G. We're skipping up to B, because B, miss out A, go to B. We have B before, by the way, so we've been here before. And then we're stepping up to C, middle C, which is where we started. We started by going C, B, we finished by going B, C. Always look out for patterns like that. They're really, really helpful. Okay, let's see if we can play this then. So we start on middle C, step down one to B, step down one to A, skip down now to F, step up to G, skip up to B, step up to C. So that's giving us a bit of practice at the top end of the clef. Let's do it backwards. We start on C, we step down to B, we skip down to G, we step down to F, we skip up to A, we step up to B, we step up to C. So there we are. You can go over these as many times as you want to. And as I've said before, you could even make up your own little tunes 
just a handful of notes and then think, well, let's see if I can find them. See if you can hear the notes in your head that you've written. Test, test them out so when you play them, does that sound like the note I thought it was going to? Um, and you'll get better at doing all that stuff. It'll be really great fun. And writing your own music, well, that's terrific fun. So get going composing in these two clefs and that will help you in your all-round musical development as well as in your sight reading. Now, number four, I've purposely written this to sort of jump around the stave a little bit more just to see how we get on with this. Well, the first note is middle C. And then I'm jumping a long way. So skips and steps, not terribly useful in this case, I have to say, when you get big leaps. But we're jumping from middle C to the C, an octave below. All cows eat grass. So this is C, isn't it? Middle C, C, an octave below. Skipping up. So if this is C, I'm skipping over D. This must be E. Then I've got another skip. I'm skipping over F and this is G. Or think about these three rising spaces, all cows eat grass. So you might see those three notes as cows eat grass, C, E, G. From the G, I'm stepping up to A. A is the top line, great big dogs from America. Or you could say, I know this one's F. So if this is F, that must be A from America. Two skips down. So you might be able to work out the two skips are taking us to D. Or you might just think great big dogs. Okay, D. And so B was the middle note in the treble clef. D is the middle note uh, in the bass clef, you know, on the middle line there. And then a step down to C to finish. And we've had this C before because we met it over here. So let's see if we can play it. So here's middle C. We're now going down a whole octave to C. Then we're skipping up to E. We're skipping up to G. We're stepping up to A. Then we've got two skips down to D and we're stepping down to C. So that's how the notes of number four go. Let's see if we can do it backwards. We're starting on C. Remember an octave below middle C. We're stepping up to D. Two skips up to A. Stepping down to G. Skip down to E, skip down to C, leap up a whole octave to middle C. So I hope that's giving you a little bit more confidence in the bass clef. But be really good with your treble clef and your bass clef. Do these little tricks with your hand, spotting the notes, playing a little quiz with yourself or with another musical friend, seeing how quickly you can do that. Compose your own little bits of music and then try to play them. So you get really good at doing this in lots of different ways. Then when you come to sight read it, you'll just know where the notes are and it won't stress you out at all. So there's the bass clef. 